Alright, so about a month ago, I uploaded a video titled The Yakuza Hunted This Streamer in Japan. And I'm sure many of you have seen that video with Johnny Somali in it basically getting attacked by a local Japanese person. Hey, all my real niggas drop in Discord right now. Hop in Discord. Oh, whoa, 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 what the fuck? And because of this, because of his constant and perpetual nuisance to the Japanese locals, and him basically breaking about a dozen or so Japanese laws, or better phrased as Japanese customs, although you can't really get arrested for, you know, being a public nuisance, it is understood in Japanese culture that you should act a certain way. Being cordial, respectful, not boasting or flexing, keeping your hands off of other people, and so on and so forth. But obviously, Johnny Somali has literally broken all of the cultural norms over there oh you have to say don't stop. grab nothing oh And as of right now, there's some news flying around saying that Johnny Somali will be spending five years in Japanese prison. And you know, I've been seeing that all over Twitter, the internet, Instagram, and all that. But as you know, with most of these posts, one person shares misinformation that gets screenshotted, formatted into another post that gets reposted and shared, screenshotted, and so on and so forth. And then it goes viral. And then everybody is spreading misinformation about something that is not actually true. Although we would like Johnny to be spending some prison in time for basically making a mockery of Americans, Somalians, Muslims, and any other group he identifies with. Unfortunately, he has not been charged yet to my knowledge, although I've seen claims that he's been charged with trespassing by the Osaka Prefectural Police's South Police Station, labeling him a, and I quote, nuisance online distributor, unquote. But of course, on Twitter, you have posts like this with a screenshot of Johnny's face saying that he will be spending five years in prison when that's just like fake news. That is not happening. Most likely will not be happening since he is a foreigner and because of his status he'll most likely just be deported after his 23 day detainment in police custody although who knows what may happen because according to some comments down below they're saying that japan apparently has a 95 percent conviction rate somebody even said it's at 99.8 percent which is just crazy like that doesn't seem corrupt at all he does still have to attend court though so maybe they will keep him in the country and, and imprison him for multiple multiple years anything is possible maybe they will make an example out of him to scare other other foreigners or visitors and tourists from ever thinking that they're above Japanese laws because they don't live there, which in my opinion, I would completely support, although I don't think he should be spending five years in prison. That seems a little excessive for being a public nuisance, but then again, this is Japan, it's a different country, he's embarrassed the country all over the world, and Japan has a particular image that they would like to uphold, and that is an image of law and order. And what's crazy is I found this video on YouTube titled, What's Life Like Inside a Japanese Prison? And it's basically a camera crew and a reporter you know just taking a tour a look through the typical japanese person and how they run their whole operation here's a sneak peek of what johnny somali may have to go through if he gets convicted of the alleged crimes that will have him spending five years in prison <laughs> Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty comfy. Bro said they had to be folded a particular type of way. I guess they enforce that in the prison for organization, cleanliness, and neatness. But I mean, this this prison, it literally has a TV, a clean toilet, a bed, a private window, sunlight, a nice sink, a place where he can put all his toiletries and everything. I mean, this looks cozy as fuck. If prisoners break a rule, they receive a warning. If they persist, they are punished. え、その単独室の中にえ、彼らをこう収容して、え、そこで反省を促す、え、もう作業をもなし、あの、そこでま、反省をしなさいというこ Wow, their punishment for misbehaving is sitting in the center of a cell and just reflecting upon their actions. Literally the Japanese version of a kid being sent to his room and put on timeout. Now you sit there, Johnny, no phone, no TV, no video games, no nothing. You sit there and you think about what you did today, young man. That's literally what they're doing over there in a Japanese prison. I mean, hey, Johnny Somali might just have a cozy time in there. The punishment can last between one and 60 days in solitary confinement, with no activities, no television, no reading. For the prison staff, this is not bullying. It's just a Japanese view of order, where everything is organized according to the group, not the individual. A world apart. It is this prison regime that Carlos Ghosn would have faced if convicted. 
and that he wanted to escape at all costs. Well, maybe considering it is one to 60 days and I didn't take that into account that you may be sitting in solitary confinement in the middle of a room without any type of emotional stimuli could be torturous in and of itself. Personally, I wouldn't want to do that. I, I would definitely want to escape the country if that was on the list of things that I could be facing as punishment. And maybe Johnny Somali may have to go through that. Maybe they'll break all the rules and extend it for three to six months, especially for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh hell no, she's a bit too happy with having a literal earring hanging from her earlobe in the shape of a handcuff Like I get supporting the police and everything, like yeah sure they do a good job sometimes protecting us from criminals But hey maybe this is like <laughs> going a little too far with the glazing, the literal deriding, like hop off tip This has to be some type of Japanese police propaganda to get more young people to join the police force <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she literally just said, I love prison. This can't be real. So that was random as fuck. Listen, I understand she's mad about the whole Hiroshima Nagasaki meme that this asshole has been using for his content, but he's just passing by personally. Why are you getting up in the middle of a date while you're eating your food to come yell at this man, literally chasing him down the street and yelling in his camera like you done lost your mind? Like, is she high? Like the way she was even yelling in the camera, that is not natural. That is not natural behavior. Ah! My God. Why are you acting like too loud? I want clout and I want money too. I want it both. I want clout and I want money too. See, it's interactions like this that just makes me feel like the entire world is a simulation that we're living in just one big ass movie script that nothing is real and that everything is fake because this is just not normal. From the way this woman is acting like she's high on bath salts to the way Johnny Somali is sticking out his tongue like he's a crackhead fiending for his next hit and she asked, why do you keep doing that man? Why do you keep doing this? You want clout? And he responds back with the brutal truth saying, I want clout and I want money too. I want clout and money too. Like who says that on camera? You can't let people know that you're doing this for money and fame how dare you this is why he's going to be going to prison because that's just blasphemy <laughs> And you wonder why I always think content is scripted because when random shit like this happens that just turns out to be real Seems like the universe is just concocting Shakespeare like plays in real life for us The type of stuff you'd see in movies and TV shows or in cringe ass prank YouTube videos that typically involve paid actors But instead of it being fake, these are real events happening in real life. Amazing. Simply amazing. Anyways, sub to the channel, like the video of course, comment down below, and new video tomorrow.